A new study suggests the recipe is different, but Saturn's moon Titan has the necessary ingredients for life. Recently, Catherine Nash, a member of Western's Institute for Earth and Space Exploration, Western Space, together with her colleagues at the European Space Agency, ESA, investigated Titan using advanced imaging technology. Nash is playing a key role in an international mission, dispatching a robotic drone to Saturn's moon Titan, set to blast off in 2027. Titan may be a way more interesting world than Mars, at least biologically. Saturn's moon is the most volcanically active world in the solar system. It is the only planetary body around the Sun, besides Earth, with a dense atmosphere that is rich in nitrogen and carbon. Windblown dunes wriggle over its surface, while mountains, hills, and canyons cover the landscape. Just like on Earth, Rain falls from the skies of Titan, creating rivers and streams that feed lakes and seas. There, organic compounds could undergo complex chemical reactions to form the so-called primordial soup, from which life on Earth first sprang. Tiny amounts of vapor rise from the land back to the sky to create new clouds and fresh showers. This cycle mirrors that of Earth's. Recently, Nash and her collaborators discovered that newly formed impact craters on Saturn's largest moon expose relatively fresh water ice from Titan's icy crust. On Titan, atmospheric processes cover the ice under a layer of sand-like organic material. On dry equatorial regions, the sand piles up, but at higher, wetter latitudes, surface streams erode the sand away. For scientists, it's so difficult to assess what lies beneath Titan's thick atmosphere. But ESA's multi-million dollar visible and infrared mapping spectrometer can penetrate that hazy atmosphere by collecting both light visible to humans and infrared light of slightly longer wavelengths. Nash said Titan has an atmosphere like Earth does. It's just that the ingredients are all wrong. It has methane rain and streams cutting through the surface, and organic sand getting blown around. Scientists suggest these findings could help them in discovering ancient ecosystems frozen in the bottoms of impact craters. They will also prove beneficial when preparing data analysis and monitoring techniques for the forthcoming Dragonfly drone mission to Titan. Despite the Red Planet being the prime destination for NASA, Nash is confident that the global space sector is ready to search for life beyond Mars. The reason why Titan is a high priority for planetary exploration is that the Moon is a geological wonderland for planetary scientists. It is the only Moon in our solar system with a dense atmosphere which supports an Earth-like hydrological cycle of methane clouds, rain and liquid flowing across the surface. Data also shows complex molecules could form on Titan, potentially based on acrylonitrile, which could be the building blocks of life. There is also evidence of an underground ocean of water, similar to Jupiter's moon Europa or Saturn's Enceladus. In the underground ocean, life may develop based on water as a solvent, and energy from other sources, such as heat from hydrovolcanic activity, tidal forces, or nuclear radiation. Titan is a wonderful place to explore. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to help us make even better content, please go support us on patreon.com slash cosmonology.